four by three on the road. I mean, what, what was the key to that effort? I feel like the main key was just discipline. You know, I feel like that's something we harped on a lot last week. You know, we go by the term CTD, competitive, tough discipline. And I feel like we had the uh, first two parts of the first game, but coming to this game, we really had to be disciplined and uh, sound in our gaps. So I feel like we, we definitely executed at a high level. How do you define your role in the middle of this defense where there's a lot of chaos going on after snap, but, but you're right in the center of all of it? Um, Coach Kane calls it the eraser. You know, I, um, I make everybody right inside out. You know, um, let's get to the ball by any means. Why were you guys better on getting off the field last week? You struggled against Fresno mm -hmm. last week. You guys were able to get, get that offense off the field on third down. I feel like, um, you know, back to the discipline, you know, uh, we, we really went back and watched the film hard and critiqued ourselves and realized, you know, we got to be a lot, dis uh, a lot more disciplined, especially on uh, third down, which is the most critical down in football. So we got to make sure, you know, we're able to execute and get off the field. And it looks like you're used as a pass rush, though. There are times that you, you, you get up on the line on two, uh, <laughs> two feet. And just talk about that role a little bit. Um, yeah, uh, pass rush is something that's kind of relatively new to me. But in this defense, you know, we're – I work with Coach Kane a lot with my pass rush and with Nick and uh, KJ and everything, you know. I pretty much have matchups against the centers, tight ends, so I just do what I can do to make a play. How often are you in pass coverage? Pass coverage, very often, I would say, you know, um, whether it's zone or man, you know, I'm always responsible for either, you know, a certain spot in the defense or tight end running back, so I would say pretty often. Being a linebacker, do you think you're pretty used to being versatile, versatile and having to do a bunch of different things? Yeah, definitely. I feel like, especially in this defense, you got to be able to run, you got to be able to hit, you got to be able to cover, you got to be able to do everything. So I feel like that's definitely, that's definitely like a lot of my trademarks and definitely allows me to showcase what I can do. Did you have any concerns when, when you transferred here and then there's a new coaching staff that, you know, I'm starting back at the bottom again, I have to work my way back up to, to what I already earned? Um, yeah, this is my third completely different, like, head coach and coaching staff. Um, you know, I feel like, like you said, you know, uh, when you get a new head coach, everybody starts at the bottom, you know, nobody just shoots up. So even though I started last year, I know I still had to prove myself throughout the offseason, work hard, and just really, you know, continue to show the coaches what I can do. Does anything translate other than just playing experience from the defense you were in before to, to what you're doing now? Um, translate as in? It's a different style of defense you're playing now, so. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a different style. I would say this style definitely allows me to play more freely. Um, you know, we run five down linemen, so, you know, usually, Lyman go uh, five on big on big, so it usually allows me to run free a lot of times. You gotta love that, don't you? Yeah, I love it. I love it. You sort of feel like the linchpin of this defense, sir. You feel like the linchpin of this defense, the guy who can make all the plays. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But then uh, I do. But I, uh, I realize, you know, it's a team effort. You know, my whole team, we all come, all eleven of us, we come to make plays. So I just try to make the plays that come to me, you know, and you know, go get some plays, you know. Hey, what do you remember about that Syracuse game last year? It was a heartbreaker, you know. I, I vividly remember it. It's uh, left a sick taste in my mouth, so I'm really glad, you know, uh, they come here this year, and you know, we really get to um, play them again. I feel like, you know, it, it was it was a lot left. It was a lot left, and I feel like, you know, we definitely, yeah, we on. Were you on the field for that last drive? Yes, sir. I know there's uh, still things to clean up, but is last week more indicative of what this defense is than the Fresno game? Uh, yes, yeah, sir, I definitely believe, you know, they say the biggest jump you make is from week one to week two. And I definitely feel like we definitely made a huge jump, especially in our defense approach, um, covering and, you know, stopping the run. So I feel like we're going to definitely continue to get better every single week. You know, I feel like you can't, I feel like even though we played good last week, you know, we're striving to be even better this week and the week after that and after that and after that. So I feel like we're just going to keep elevating. What do you remember about Syracuse quarterback Garrett Schrader and just maybe some of the problems that you could pose for you guys? Um, he's a scrambler, you know, big guy, about 6'3", 6'4", 225. So I know he's a big guy who likes to run and get out the pocket. You know, um, he's definitely not easy to bring down. You can't just run in there with your shoulder and just, or like, you know, your head and just try to hit him. You know, he's a, definitely a guy you got to hit, wrap up, drive your feet, you know, basically like a, like a tight end. How do you feel about Syracuse being the first of three home games this month? I love it, you know, um, Ross A, you know, I love the atmosphere, you know, especially it's a night game, so it's, it's nothing like Ross A that night, so it's definitely going to be a fun way to kick it off, and I can't wait for it.